if Berkshire shares are selling for less than we think they're worth, that's a pretty, that could be a pretty big way to dis distribute cash. The, the, but we'd rather, what we'd really like to do is buy great businesses. If we could buy a company for 50 billion or 75 billion, 100 billion, we could do it. And we can do it and our word's good. It's difficult with a public company because in effect, if you bid on a company, you make the bid and their shareholders vote months later and that, you're giving an option. If we're good for it and the other guy has a way to top you, yeah. top you or all kinds of things, uh, they can get out of it and you, you get paid 2% for that or 1% for that. that. That is not an appropriate price. And on the other hand, Delaware will decide whether, whether they should do it or not. And that's, that, that's the way the world is. I mean, that's, that's the law. So it'd be easier to do with a private company. And, and there, there aren't very many that are big. On the other hand, there aren't very, there's nobody else that can quite make a deal like we can under the right circumstances. And there could be a situation where a number of very decent companies have got a very uncomfortable borrowing structure and money comes due, due to them at the exact wrong time. And that's when they pick up a phone as did Tiffany and Harley Davidson and, and you name it, I mean, a whole bunch of companies in 2008. That sort of thing will happen again, whether, whether it results in us getting the calls or what the world is exactly at that time. But the one thing we know is that, that the number of phone calls that you can make at a time like that is very, very limited. And there can be good companies. They don't want to sell the company necessarily, but they, may want, they, they just may need five or 10 or $20 billion, depending on what company you're talking about. And uh, that can happen. And our own shareholders can be selling the stock too cheap. And, We'll never do anything to make them sell it cheap, and we'll tell them the truth about what the business is. But if market circumstances result in us being able to buy in 50 billion of our own stock, we'll buy it. Uh, so we'll see what we'll see what the world holds. But we don't have the opportunities we used to have. But we've got we've got enough, and and we're making money with what with the things we have. It, it isn't killing us to hold 100, 130 billion of of. Uh, uh, bills at 5% plus bond equivalent yields. And everybody says, well, yields are going to go down in the future. I don't have the faintest idea what yields are going to do in the future. And, you know, the prime rate was 21.5% in 1981 or two, and people were worried that it was going to go totally out of spin out of control. And Volcker kept it from happening. But if Volcker hadn't been in there, who the hell knows what would have happened. But, uh, so we're running Berkshire so that... Uh, We'll do okay, and maybe we'll do a little bit better than okay. Charlie? Okay, maybe fine. <laughs>